Hi, Scary Recaps here. Today, I'm going to explain the movie Escape Room from 2019. Beware of spoilers. The film begins with a man inside a strange room which looks like an old study, trying to find a way out. He comes up to a locked door with a number puzzle next to it. Some of the digits are in the wrong place, but when he pushes one of them in, the wall behind him starts to move toward him, crushing everything in its way. The man panics and struggles to get out. He solves the puzzle, though in vain, as the wall doesn't stop. Ultimately, he gets trapped, but his fate is unknown as the story goes back three days. In Chicago, Illinois, Zoe is an introverted student currently observing a lecture. After the lesson, the professor advises her to be more courageous in life. The next day, Zoe finds a package outside her dorm room. In it, she discovers a mysterious puzzle box and a note from her professor. Meanwhile, in another location, Jason, a stock trader, is offered a vacation to an exotic place. Shortly after, he receives a note with the same black puzzle box Zoe had gotten as well. The same thing happens with Ben, a young man who works at a grocery store. He too takes a puzzle box and a note from his boss. Zoe, Jason, and Ben solve the puzzle each in their own way. Inside the box, they find a card with the invitation to participate in a game in the Minos escape room, where the first one to escape the room will earn $10,000. At the Minos premises, Zoe and Jason sit in a room with three other contestants, Amanda, Danny, and Mike. Ben joins them soon, and they all chat, waiting for the game to begin. It is revealed here that Danny is a master of this kind of game, having successfully escaped from over 90 rooms. After a while, Ben grows tired of waiting and decides to go outside and have a smoke, but the handle of the door breaks and falls off in his hand. Danny then informs them that the game has begun. In the place of the handle, they see an oven dial. The group starts searching for clues. Mike finds a screwdriver inside a book titled Fahrenheit 451, and Zoe sets the oven dial to 451 degrees. The heating panels that are placed around the room are turned up. The six contestants continue to seek out clues to escape the heating room. Amanda is worried and asks for assistance from the person behind the blurry window. Ben grabs a fire extinguisher to break the window, but it is fake. Zoe, however, retrieves a key from under the pin, and with it, she unlocks the window. Behind, they see a mannequin holding a phone. When the phone rings, Jason answers it. The caller instructs him and the rest of the group to follow the rules. The heat in the room is now almost unbearable, and as Amanda starts to panic, Zoe reads a sign on the wall saying to use coasters. Pressing down one of the coasters, a painting slides off the wall and an air vent is revealed. Holding down all six coasters makes the air vent remain open. While Jason and Mike enter the duct to remove a grate, Zoe instructs the others to fill six glasses with water and to put them on coasters on the coffee table in order for them all to escape. Amanda gets inside the vent but gets claustrophobic because of an old trauma during her time in Iraq. Zoe enters the passageway and calms Amanda down before getting her safely to the other side. Ben and Danny manage to escape the waiting room just in time before the flames engulf it. The new room resembles a wood cabin. Jason uses the key from the frosted window and unfastens a lock on the front door. But there's another lock which needs seven letters to unlock. Mike reads a quote on the wall that says, You'll go down in history. Zoe suggests using names of US presidents, but that doesn't work. Ben observes the nine antlers on the wall, and after recollecting the night when he and his friends had a car accident, he notices the letters under the antlers and makes the connection. He tells the others to put the word Rudolph, and that unlocks the door. The group now walks into a snowy clearing, and they are under the impression that they are outdoors. But it is an elaborate lie, as the walls are high-resolution screens that look like actual surroundings. Zoe notices that the temperature is dropping and that they are all at risk of freezing to death if they don't act fast. The group starts again searching for clues. Amanda finds a boat with a message on its side saying, True North is a lie, and a red jacket in it. 
Mike discovers a fishing pole in a tree, and Ben accidentally finds a fishing hole in the ice. While the others try to determine the depth of the lake, Zoe uses a compass and retrieves a magnet from the mouth of a taxidermied polar bear. Mike uses the magnet in the fishing hole and pulls up a frame with a block of ice containing a key. Danny asks Ben to give him his lighter in order to quickly melt the ice and get the key. Ben throws him the lighter, but as Danny goes to pick it up, the ice breaks beneath him and he falls into the water. The others run to help him, but they are unable to save him, and Danny drowns. With no time to grieve, the group succeeds in melting the ice and obtaining the key. Jason puts it in the door he had found earlier, but it doesn't open. Instead, another door opens on the other side of the room. The five run to it, and as the ice cracks beneath their feet, everyone makes it alive through the door. The next room is an upside-down bar with a pool table. Everything is nailed to the ceiling high above their heads. A phone rings and drops down to them. The caller tells them to be wary of their steps, and just then, a part of the floor falls in, showing a deadly chasm underneath. Amanda climbs up to the bar and finds a safe with a four-number code. Pieces of the floor begin to fall off slowly. Zoe climbs to a sliding puzzle in the wall, along with Ben and Mike. She solves the puzzle and tells Amanda the code to the safe. Amanda gets the eight ball, which functions as the doorknob, and climbs down to them. At the same time, Zoe falls down, and as she is barely unconscious, she has a flashback of being inside a crashed aeroplane with her dead mother. Jason helps Zoe up, and Amanda gives Jason the eight ball, just before she falls to her death. The remaining party opens the door and move on to the next room. Inside the new set, the group encounters a hospital-like environment. It is revealed here that all of the participants are the sole survivors of tragic accidents in the past, and that the person behind the game knows a lot about them. A five-minute countdown begins, in which Zoe destroys all of the surveillance cameras in a fury, while Mike, Jason and Ben work together to find a way out of this new room. In order to do this, they have to use an EKG machine to measure their heart rate. During the process, however, Jason accidentally kills Mike, but he also manages to open the door just as poisonous gas is released. Zoe is still wreaking havoc on the cameras, and she doesn't follow Ben and Jason to the next room. She falls down and has a seizure. Jason and Ben enter the new room, and despite the tension between them, they work together and succeed in opening the door. They are, however, infected with a deadly poison, and there's only one antidote in the adjoining room. They fight, and Ben unintentionally kills Jason. He then takes the antidote and proceeds through a shaft into the study that has been viewed at the start of the film. While being crushed by the wall, Ben retreats inside the fireplace. The door opens then, and Ben escapes into a surveillance room where he meets the Game Master. The Game Master explains to him that he and the rest of the group were participating in a game in order to entertain rich people. Meanwhile, as two men in protective suits enter the hospital room to pick up the bodies of Mike and Zoe, they are attacked and knocked unconscious by Zoe, who has survived the poisonous gas. She takes one of their guns and flees. The Game Master tries to then strangle Ben, but Ben fights back until Zoe enters the room and shoots the Game Master. He attacks her and takes the gun, but Ben hits him in the head and shoots him dead. Ben is transported to a hospital, and Zoe calls the police. But as the officers arrive, they find no evidence of what has transpired. They don't believe her story and ask her to leave. Six months later, Zoe meets Ben and shows him the information she has gathered about Minos. She informs him that Minos headquarters is in New York and asks him to come with her, which Ben agrees to. After that, a group of Minos employees are testing an escape room scenario with a plane falling. It is implied here by an unseen figure that this particular scenario is to be used in the flight of Zoe and Ben.